Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Today I'm going to show you something super special and really awesome. It's a Stewart Stevenson truck that's been converted to a camper. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content like this. So obviously you can see the size of it. Extremely large machine, runs and drives excellent. Uh, it was driven from the middle of Florida to here with no issues at all. Super clean paint job. The front end has been upgraded with an MME front bumper guard. So if you wanna take a look at that, that's pretty neat. And we'll also show you this thing driving later on in the video. You got your three windshield wipers, which is signature for the Stuart Stevenson. It also has upgraded uh, halo lights here and the grill, good job, Joe. I'm wearing these glasses for Joe as well. He's got pit vipers, I've got the knockoffs. Uh, all the lights have been updated as well. Uh, mirrors work great. When you look inside the cab, it's extremely clean, and I'm gonna show you that later on, but we'll give you a little peek right now. The ability to control your air pressure still works, so that computer's still operating. All the fluids and filters are fresh. Newer batteries, and the hole underneath has been painted in a satin black. So you have four small windows to, to allow ventilation, and you can also add an AC unit if you want. We're gonna step inside it right now. All the cabinetry is gonna stay, but all of the impermanent features are gonna go. So it's just like as if we staged a house, just so you could see what you could do with it. So you're gonna go up this ladder, which hides away behind this door, really easy to do. One person can do it. We have a grab handle here. When you get inside, you're gonna see that there's a nice table here. I believe it's 48 by 32. You got a hot plate, so this could be like your kitchen area, and you also do have a hundred uh, ten that you can run off of a uh, you know out of a generator that you have underneath the truck if you put it there. You have your interior lights, which will control your lights when your truck's not hooked up to power. This would be your bed area, and there's plenty of storage throughout. So underneath here, I have storage, and then if you come in this way, we've got storage back here. A lot of storage, so you, you could get plastic bins and fill it up. Same thing with this side. Or you can even put the AC unit set up under here too. Right now we're running like a little uh, a ventilation setup, which would be like this, it runs off of an external battery. Got a nice little shelf set up here. And then the ventilation's not bad. So inside the closet, you've got a nice curtain rod. Let me take these glasses off. And then you have the ability to put a toilet, like a boat style toilet that can sit there and then you get rid of your waste when you go to the truck stop or if you're camping, just, you know, you dig a hole. It's a really nice piece. If you have any questions about this truck, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Thanks again, I'm gonna make some coffee. All right guys, let's go for a test drive in this Stuart Stevenson camper truck. We're gonna get in it. You're going to turn this on, that's gonna turn your power on. And then normally there's a button here. Fires right up. Your central tire inflation system still operates. We're gonna leave it in highway mode. You have your, the ability to use hazards. You have the ability to turn your fan off. So if you're gonna forward through water, you turn it off. Test all your lights so you can see that your, your overheat light's not working or your trans oil temp's not working. These are gonna be your uh, pressures for your brakes. This is what you want to focus on right here. Uh, you have a hand throttle, trailer air, and your air. And then it also has a heater box. You do have the ability to have one extra person sitting here, and it does have a turret that you can open up. It doesn't have like a cupola or anything like that, but you can you can use it. I figure we could just do some fording right now and see if we can make it through this little canal here. Just a simple drive through, nothing crazy. I'm not gonna spin the tires. I'm gonna put it in drive. Nice and slow. Looks pretty deep, it's been raining a lot.
Uh oh. I think it's a little too heavy to go in that little canal. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get out of here, Frank. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a little bit weird because uh, of the articulation, but it shouldn't be a problem. Not bad. You can hear the turbo spooling up. It's actually a really easy truck to drive. Super smooth, going 35 right now. There's a lot of road work, so I think we should go the other direction. turn around here take a right here and then we'll do a big circle around uh oh found the side of the road turn my wipers on here As you can see, it drives really well. We've got about 75 pounds of oil pressure. Turbo spools up really nice. Transmission shifts excellent. Uh, we're gonna drive to the sand pit just so we can go through it and show you guys what it'll do. Uh, it's been raining a ton over here. So we tried to go through that little, <laughs> that little puddle turned into like, I don't know, four feet of water, three feet of water probably. And I didn't want to get it stuck and have to pull the five ton out. Plus I know Joe Thatcher, would be pretty pissed off if I did that from Midwest. This is actually a Midwest military equipment truck that we're helping them sell. All right, we're gonna go into the sand pit now with the Stuart Stevenson, show you that everything works. We had to put it in mode two when we were in that uh, water because we started sinking. The, the ground's so saturated here in Florida. It's crazy, you've got your, own, your house in, your, in the back and you can go anywhere. <laughs> Gotta keep in the boost on this sand. God, this thing is so cool. You got your tire in the air right now. Go through one more time. Let's put it in mode two. And we'll drop the transmission to third gear. Second. Shift it into third. Just so cool. I just put it back into regular mode so it'll shift by itself now. It's an amazing truck. Perfect voltage, perfect temperature. If you're looking for a Stuart Stevenson that you want to continue to convert into a camper truck, this is definitely the one to look at. Put the brake on. Make sure you guys like and subscribe so we can give you more content like this. We also have an Instagram that'll show all of our inventory before we actually post it up on YouTube or our site. Uh, if you need help with shipping, we can ship worldwide. If you're in a different country, we can get you an export license as well. So just give us a call, 954-363-2261.